right. There we go. Everything's loading up. Hey guys, Tony the Sword Assassin. Um, new setting as you can see. It kind of looks weird at this moment. But hopefully it will get less weird as the time goes. It is the new setting. I'm not too familiar with this setting. Uh, let me see if I can adjust the camera right now. From this side. I don't think I can. I had to adjust it from the laptop. So let me just get to the laptop. Bam. And there we go. Live chat. And we have Joseph's already in. Joseph. Hey, how you doing, Joseph? So as you can see, we went back to the old way of uh, of chat. I think that the word doesn't look too clear. Might have to change that again. Mm. Let's bring out the old chat. I mean, the new old chat. That way we can still see each other. There we go. Just a little bit of technical difficulty, I guess. So here we go. We got the chat up right now. We got Joseph. We got Joe. We got Walter Ron. We got James, Jim Blinton. Hey, how you doing, Jim? And we got William W. So today, today, like last time we did something new. We're doing something new today. Hey, Martina Maya. We're doing something new today. We are going to compare the Liga Zebra and the uh, Jungle Stripe from Cigar Daily. I mean, you might feel like, oh, why are we co uh, comparing two like budget cigars? But I'll tell you why in just a minute. So let's do the open. Every single day. We're back. So, just so you guys know, uh, because this is a new setting and I don't want too much technical difficulty, so I we don't do the the you know the the semi-cast today. It's just so that we can avoid any issues with the semi-casting and all that stuff. And today we're comparing head to head uh, Jungle Stripe and Liga Zebra. And you, you, you gotta ask, like, why are we comparing two budget cigars? They can only be so good or so bad, right? And, and this is where my concept is slightly different than everybody else's. My concept of budget cigar is that budget cigar or, you know, cheaper end cigars, entry level cigar, you wanna call it, should be much, much better than a high end cigar should be much much better than a high-end cigar no the camera is just the same camera um I have different lights on me right now so i look purple green blue and yellow and whatever color that you want to call me right now so uh you know it's still a new setting it's uh it's not perfect right now obviously as the room develops i have add more stuff to it like in fact right now i have had the microphone here because the amount of echo this room will give uh, as soon as I finish more and then you know it will look better it will look better uh, I'm literally sitting on two boxes and one pillow on top of the boxes I could fall at any moment so if I do fall just give me two seconds to get up because I'm just my chair is not here yet I ordered two chairs but hasn't got here yet um, so yeah budget cigars this is my concept, okay? When you buying something that's high end, you're not expecting quality. Do you know what I'm saying? When you buying something that's high end, you're not expecting quality. What what your money is paying for? If that makes any sense to you guys, okay? Let me give you an example, right? When you buy a Honda Civic, $16,000, 
You will expect to beat that car until it cannot move anymore. You are expecting to get your money worth. You are expecting to get as much as you possibly can. You gotta put 160,000 miles on that thing so that every mile costs you 10 cents from that $16,000, right? When you buy a BMW, that car could be, let's say, uh, $60,000. As soon as you drive off the lot, that thing is no longer $60,000. That thing is $40,000. All right? When you say buying a brand, you're buying the name, all right? You're buying the name of the quality. So you think that is quality. So you're buying the name. And in fact, it's actually the, the value you pay for. There, there is some sort of quality that goes with it. But majority of the time, you recognize the name more than the quality itself. All right? If you go out there and you say, um, yeah, I, I just went out to buy a BMW. And then people are going to go, oh my God, it's BMW. That's, that's, got, a great, that's got to be a great car. That's got to be a great car, right? But if you tell them, I bought a 100,000 mile Civic, and they'll be like, okay, that's not bad. As soon as you say, I bought a 100,000 mile BMWs, he's going to say, oh, that thing needs a lot of fix. Is that true? Isn't that true? Isn't that true? When you buying something that's high end, a lot of time you're buying for the name, all right? You're buying the exclusivity, you're buying the name and value in that name, but not necessarily all goes to the value of what you're buying, all right? So when you're buying something like a high-end cigar, you're buying the name, the history behind it, all right? How exclusive it is in the cigar itself, which costs you way much more. Now, my philosophy on budget versus high end is that budget cigar have to work its way to enjoyment. All right, budget cigar had to prove their value by how much you enjoy this budget cigar. All right, but when you go to high end, you're not buying your money worth. You're buying the savior, the savory of your enjoyment. What do I mean by that? You will enjoy your high-end cigar the moment you purchased it. By holding on your hand say, I have this, you are enjoying the benefit of that particular cigar. All right, you are enjoying the benefit of that particular cigar by just saying, I have this, I found it, this is exclusive, this is expensive, I have one. That is the moment that you paid for, right? You paid for that name. You pay for the value, the name behind it, and you pay for everything that goes around with it. But when it comes to budget cigar, they have to prove their worth to you, all right? From zero to that amount, right? If you bought the budget cigar eight dollars, you better this cigar better give you eight dollar by the end of this knob, right? That's budget cigar. I'm not saying Honda is bad. No Honda, no, Honda is exactly what it is. Honda has proven it's worth over and over again by driving all the way to this 100,000 mile plus. All right? At 160,000 mile, you still will pass that down to your kids. But you will not pass down a 160,000 mile BMW to anybody because they won't, they won't want it. Trust me, they won't want it. The amount of fix and repair you need to do on a BMW on a 600, uh, 1,600, no. 160,000 mile car on a BMW on a European car is dreadful. It's dreadful. You you probably won't even reach 100,000 miles on a standard German car. Because you're buying the history behind it. You're buying the master craftsmanship behind it. You're not actually buying everything that costs itself. All right? So if you take that in perspective, put it aside, now that goes to where the concept came from. The budget cigar, it will prove its value at the end of the smoking. All right? High-end cigar is quite the opposite. It proves its value in the beginning and you're savoring the value until the end. At the end of it, that cigar is worth nothing. You have your enjoyment 
That's your enjoyment. Your enjoyment is to savor the enjoyment of that high end cigar. Your money. All right. So when you buy a high end, that's your money. Once you smoke it, gone. But daily, opposite. The moment you bought this, it's worth nothing. It's worth nothing until you smoke it. You go. This is worth my few bucks. Okay. So this is how I feel about budget cigars. You know why? Because the budget cigar is the one that you smoke every single day. Whenever you have a chance, that's the one you smoke. That's the one you can afford. So it has earned its right to be your budget cigar because that's got to be the everyday stuff. Now you got to say, oh no, I save, I save uh, my good stuff to to smoke. No, you're saving that moment to smoke for the high end. But the daily cigar is just like eating your. You know, three meal a day every day. You wouldn't want to eat the crappy stuff every single day every day, right? If it doesn't buy you that five dollar worth of enjoyment, you wouldn't have bought it, right? The only reason you bought it is affordable and actually worth that much of enjoyment to you. That much of enjoyment to you at the end of your smoke. So daily is actually more important than your enjoyment stick because you can find the enjoyment stick anywhere, but. The daily one is what get you by every single day. You know, it's it's what's most important. Kind of hard to get, agree on part of that, but that's how I feel like. You know, you wouldn't want to get a crappy knife to beat your chef's knife because you gotta work on it every day. And you know, you could buy a a thousand dollar samurai knife to to be your chef knife, but then as soon as you chop a bone, that thing's gonna chip. But your you know fifteen dollar chef knife is gonna cut cut right through that bone. So that's my philosophy. Now we're gonna see if this thing worth the few dollars this is gonna cost. Now both of them look very similar. And in fact, if I take the uh, the stickers off, you uh, can barely tell which is what other than the size. So here's the Gazi Zebra. Is a barber pole, and then we have the jungle stripe. In, in fact, in the beginning, I can't even really tell what's the difference. What's the difference between them? But you know, you can see the jungle stripe is more rough. It's cheaper looking. It is um, more less refined. You can you can see the line between them. One of them is more rough, but they're still you know both barber pole. So what we're gonna do is we'll smoke. Uh, the underdog, I guess, the jungle stripe first, and then we will smoke the Liga Zebra, which I know is pretty good. So, while we're at it, let me know what you guys are smoking right now, uh, and you can let me know what you feel about budget cigars. Uh, I'm not afraid to say my budget cigar is actually between one dollar and fifteen dollars. So to me, $15 is still a budget cigar. Now what I mean by high end, when I say high end, I'm talking about something like $30. $30 cigar will be something high end. Smoking a filthy Viking Robusto this morning and it was disappointing, poor draw and burn issue. That's not good to hear. I think that's something that you want to talk to Tim about and say you got a really bad draw one. And see if it will make it right for you because I the filthy Viking Robusto I had was pretty good, it's actually very good. So sometimes you just have that you know bad luck on, on a specific cigar because it is man made, so uh, you kind of have to give it a second try. All right, the draw is not bad for mine. The draw is actually very good. Right away, I taste wood, a little bit cedar, a little bit big, um, earthiness, and a little bit of subtle earthiness and the bitterness that goes with it. Hey, cat. Okay. There is a little bit of pepper tingliness at the end of it. it just sticks on the, the top of my mouth. Mm. Alright, 
star anise too a little bit of kind of like a burnt wood taste to it but not a lot not a lot because it gets covered up by the the star anise right away so it's not like it's all over the place that is the jungle stripe now both of them are purchased at the same time when they, when they first have the sticker so it's been sitting in my humidor for a while uh, I figured it's a good good time to pull them both out and do a comparison if you guys want to see a different comparison just leave me in the comments or send me a message or whatever and just put it in the chat that way I'll look for the same one so I can find the same cigar relatively the same you gotta compare relatively the same if you want to compare something that's different we gotta complete polar opposites okay polar opposites will complete the same or similar Jason Martin how are you and we have Kat uh, Daniel Martin is here too and with Joseph in the beginning Island Del Isa Del Sol is your go-to cigar. That's a sweet cigar, isn't it? Smoke output is actually not bad. The flavor profile on this is there, but even the Star Anise flavor feels like watered down a little bit. It feels like watered down. You gotta see my leg here and there. That's because I'm sitting in a very dangerous position. I'm sitting in a, in a, a, a meditation position. So sometimes you got to see my leg until the chair is here. I'm like balancing myself in a Zen position on top of this pet because this thing is two boxes and a pillow. And this box is smaller than the pillow. So you can, you can imagine if I lean one way too much, I'm just going to fall. Got to run smoke on, uh, smoke on you all. All right. Talk to you later, Jim. Just finish your factory, factory sm ah, smoke sweet. Between the zebra is the winner. We'll find out. We'll find out. Why do you think the zebra is the winner? Is it because the construction, value, taste? By the way, why why you guys are here right now? Make sure to let me know how do you like the microphone. Is this, is this still echoing a lot? Is, is it just fine? Is the music too loud? You guys let me know because uh, I can't hear myself other than the echo. And the uh, rabbit air is working in the back very hard as well. It's like working its ass off as well. <laughs> Sounds good to you? Okay, good. Because the when we tested out yesterday, it was echoing or it sounds very empty. So I put the microphone down and closer to me, uh, hoping that will solve the issue. And I try a different, like few different ways of doing it. It just can't get it quite right, I guess. That's, that's the right word, can't get it quite right. Hey, Sherry, I didn't even see you coming in. Oh yeah, the factory smoke. Mainly because of flavor. Okay, Sammy. Uh, hey, uh, jazz is the same volume as you at times. That's a good suggestion. So let's move that down a little bit. That's actually the minimum that's going to get. Uh, other than that, I had to tune down the, the system sound. So we'll see how that works out for now. Because sometimes the music is louder and it's not by choice. <laughs> it's just that music is louder. Woo. So, it's Wednesday. I hope everybody had a good Wednesday. I had a busy beginning of the week because I was trying to finish this room. This room, the reason I haven't, I wasn't filming in this room before. Hey, Dan, man, I tried to say hello many, many times to your stream today and you just didn't respond because you didn't know. I told you every time you go on there, hit cancel stream and then hit cancel that again so that you can see people's comments. It's, it's a big glitch that they haven't fixed. Just got off work. Fixing, grab a beer. Atora Frente, Hemingway, and join in. 
awesome, Travis. So yeah, this room, the reason we, we didn't film in this room before is because there was no power in this room. All right, there was zero power in this room. And what happened is I just, you know, grind my teeth, pull out the, the rest of the board up there, and then I actually went out and get a breaker, wired the entire place with plugs. So now I have plugs so I can film in here. So this table should be big enough for two people. So in the future, you know, if you guys drop by, we can have a conversation here. <laughs> Tonight's a guy of choice is Punch Grand Puro. All right, this so far this cigar is pretty bland. Okay, pretty bland. There is there is there is flavor. There is flavor. There is a lot of star anise in the forefront, and some pepper and tobacco. Now it's a bad sign when you can taste tobacco. It just means this cigar isn't that complex, right? When you taste tobacco, it's, it's, there's not much going on. Oh, my back is gonna kill me. I gotta move forward just a little bit. Ugh. I need my chair. <laughs> I need my chair. My chair is getting delivered tomorrow, so that's gonna be good. Also, I ordered more white light so I don't look red. Do I look red? Even though there's no red light in this room, I look red on my own screen, so. Just had to get another white light so that I don't look that red. So yeah, in terms of budget cigar, you can tell this is roughly rolled. It's like really quickly done, but it's at the size of a Toro, you know? So there's a lot to smoke, but this has to work its way up to its value. There's a reason why this is not the best selling cigar in Cigars Daily, so I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't win. But you figure sometimes you give a little bit of um, time, it will get better. So both of them set for a little bit. Hopefully both of them will get better. Hey Christopher Daniel, what's going on? Welcome. So we're smoking this particular cigar, and, and there's really not much to talk about this cigar. It's, it's, no, it's the way budget cigar should be. Just enough of a cigar, not enough to be amazed, right? And you just try to give yourself that value at the end of this. It's like, mm, today I want to eat rice, and I got rice. That rice was good. That's good enough, right? You're not going to go out there and get your golden rice for the day. That's for celebration. But every day you have to eat rice. You just want something good enough that you can do every single day. If the rice tastes bad, you're not gonna eat it every single day. But you have to do it every single day, and that's your choice. So that have to bring you at least to the enjoyment part, right? From zero to enjoyment. And you know, high-end cigar is from enjoyment to zero. And you're right, it does taste a little bit earthy and a little bit dry. That That's true, it does have that little bit to it. You have that earthiness that gets covered by the anise taste. And even anise goes away here and there. It's just in, out, in, out. Got myself a box of Alusia and just wondering should I age them with the plastic on or off the box for how long? Here, here's my recommendation for any box cigar you buy, open it up first. Why? Because if you open it up and there's mold in there, you better bring it back. <laughs> Always inspect your cigar as soon as you receive it. Don't keep it in the box and not open it. Unless you don't really care for it. The only box of cigar that I didn't open, like open open to check, is actually that Woody. <laughs> that Woody I did not check. But uh, if, you, if you care about your cigar, you always want to open it up and check it. And inside, usually there is a pack of Bovita pack. You can check the healthy, how healthy that Bovita pack is and you leave it in there. If it's bad, just replace it with another piece of uh, Bovita and you can leave it in the box. And I, I recommend it to keep the Adlusian bowl for at least six months before you smoke it. It actually balances out the taste a lot more. And you can age it longer than that if you want to. But I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend more than two or three years 
um, because they already kind of aged that Andalusian a little bit already. So, you know, don't want to miss the prime between six and 10 years. Look, but get that plastic off. Check the cigars. Make sure they don't get damaged in transit uh, or already moldy or already have, you know, beetles. You don't want that to happen when you finally waited 10 years to not smoke it, open it up, beetle was in there. Right? You don't want to wait, you know, that long to find out something was wrong with your cigar. Find out what's, what's in the cigar first. You can always go buy more shrink wrap for yourself if you wanted to. Those shrink wrap are easy to buy. You can buy shrink wrap and shrink wrap the box if you wanted to, but why do that? Because you can't monitor the humidity inside if you do that. You know, every time you swap your cigar, check your cigars, just open up the cap, make sure everything is fine. You don't even have to roll them, just open it up. No visual, like no visible damage, then fine, close it, put it away. How is everybody's day today? Even today, I was quite busy, to be honest with you. I, I had to tune here and there and just waiting for UPS to drop by. So I only get to be on a few minutes before uh, I get, get go sleepy. <laughs> All right, Michael. Thanks for dropping by. So I was surprised today. Uh, I, I, I kind of got that idea of that I know that this group I was kind of afraid that a lot of people is just gonna go. Ah, let's 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 get Tony to smoke that Woody. I was kind of afraid of that, and um, but then I calmed down. I said, I talked to my wife. I came down. I just like, oh, that's not gonna happen, really. That's okay. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I get like I hear when I hear like subscription message going on. They so, you know the zombie goes on the noise. I got scared. I got oh my gosh, shit. And today it was Bob the cigar guy that subscribed to my channel. I was like, oh my god, Bob, you just contributed to me smoking that Woody. Not close yet, but you did contribute to it, just so you know. Hey Matt, our new member Matt. How are you doing, Matt? How do you enjoy the how do you did you enjoy the group so far? I, I hope you are. With that said, what happened? I think within a week, we jumped from 160 something to 170 now. We're at 170 today. All of a sudden, more people joined. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I thought we we're on the curse of 150. Now we're at 170. I don't know what happened. That happened. All of a sudden, jumped to 170. Now I have to say. I do have to keep my promise that every time we hit 100, so 100, 200, 300, we have to elect a new uh, moderator. And that's just the way it is. This group will be heavily monitored by everybody. All right. So um, by the time we hit 200, we'll have to get another moderator. By the time we hit 500, I probably have to start kicking half the members out. Mm. Ooh. All right. I just have a little. I just taste a little bit dirt. I mean, sand, not dirt, like sand. Same taste, like sand flavor. Sand flavor came through for this cigar. Now, just to be fair, now that I already have one third of this, I'm gonna leave it just to the side now right let that kind of continue to go down a little bit and then let's go with this one let's see how my initial reaction for this one is a bomb 9 by 90 there's a cigar called a bomb. A bomb, nine by ninety. Will smoke that? Probably not. Probably not. It really depends. Close foot. Let's burn this foot open. Alright, 
This thing has a little bit more tight draw than I like. Slightly tighter. But right away, because I close foot, it get a whiff of that cedary flavor. Really, really pleasant flavor. The flavor is much more intense in the Liga Zebra. Much, much more intense for the wrapper that's going on right now. But it also dies down pretty quickly. It also dies down pretty quickly. Oh, okay. This shirt is actually not camo. It's actually a bunch of guys on the floor. We call that Oros. O R Z. If you don't know what it is, just type in O R Z on Google. You'll know what that means. O R Z. So it's a bunch of people O R Z all over the place. Now. Props to uh, Martina Maya is getting a lot of, like, I think semi sponsorship for all those cigar uh, group uh, cigar subscriptions that you can try. That's a really good thing because you don't know how good it is until somebody opens the cigar box. So, props to Martina Maya. It might sound like, you know, he tried to sell you the box, but it didn't seem that way to me. I mean, he is trying to get us the best deal and, and the best subscription boxes that you can try. And he's the one that jumped in the ocean to tell you how hot it is first. So, props to him. Hmm. Okay. Not much of taste in the beginning. Not much taste in the beginning. Other than that cedar goodness, you get... You get this sweet... Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla taste to it. So sweet vanilla taste plus some cedar. <laughs> All right, the ashes. Ooh. The ashes fell. And I just happened to taste this firm plastic taste. Firm plastic taste. You know like one of those nylon you can burn to shrink the, the lines in when it come out, you know, the thread, thread comes out? I just taste that just now and that tastes pretty nasty. But it goes away after. Now it tastes what you call leather. Maybe leather and paper box. Leather and paper box combined. It has that little bit of paper box taste. But we'll continue. We're gonna be fair. I'm. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna struggle to keep this lead because this has a really tight draw right now. Gonna give a massage. Deep tissue. Deep tissue massage right here. Yeah, it's got this sweet vanilla taste. Vanilla. Very good cigar right now. Very good. Not bad. This thing. Gotta rescue it. So we'll get some public service announcement, I guess, while I'm at it. Uh, you see the box right here? These are... The raffle tickets that's for Bob the Cigar Guy. Bob the Cigar Guy has an uh, ashtray raffle going on and a cigar thing going on. So uh, if you haven't haven't bought the ticket yet, that ticket is on sale until Saturday by noon. Saturday by noon, I'm closing it and um, that's when we're we gonna do the drawing that night, okay? Your snacking habit worries me. You know that sand and paper box taste like? I do. Because when I was younger, I tend to eat sand. Yep, 
I eat a lot of sand. You know why? You know why? Because I trip a lot. I face plant in the park and I eat sand. I hate it, sand. And uh, paper box, I tend to rip paper box with my teeth when I was younger. That's how I break a box. So, eh. So, we're comparing Cigars Daily Jungle Stripe with Cigars Daily Liga Zebra. See, both are Barber Pole. One is Toro. One is this uh, Churchill Robusto size. Or you can call it long, long Robusto. Longer than a regular Robusto. Okay. That's really just Star Annie's paper box right now. Cedar, vanilla, uh, a little bit woody tone to it. A little bit of pepper. Also has some spice at the end too. So, you know, both what should be expected as budget cigar. Not too much is going on right now. While we're at that, what is your favorite? Absolute favorite budget cigar. Cigar that's less than fifteen dollars. Go. And I start to see that. I start to see that, Michael. Chabusto. Rescuing this cigar because it's dying down. It didn't burn that well. Let's give it a little help. Paper box. I'm not even kidding. It's paper box. Factory Smoke is actually really, really good cigar. Factory Smoke, uh, I did not like the packaging though. I did not like the packaging. I did not like the band that says Factory Smoke on it because it just feels cheap. You would think that sometimes even the cheap cigar, you want to put more in the design. But it is a good cigar right there. Bob! 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 Bob the cigar guys here. Bob, you just contributed to one of uh, uh, one more count of me getting closer to smoke that woody. Uh, the sweet Jane is not my personal favorite because it's too sweet. <laughs> Punch Grinder Negra is 4.75%. Also, live. The Chizo Maduro. I actually like the Chizo Maduro's packaging. That's really interesting. Bob the cigar. Bob Bob Bobby is on his phone. <laughs> You know that Sam, Sammy thing is gonna stick, right? That's gotta be the way we call him in the future. Sammy. <laughs> My father's BA's SF. Dang good for two dollars each. Charter Oak uh, good also. Yeah, see when you re when you really think about it, when you really think about it, uh Budget cigar is the one you smoke the most. So they should be most enjoyable because you have to do that every single day, you know? They, just like the soda you drink the most and the things that you drink the most. The, the reason that you savor the high-end one is because the price and how exclusive it is. It's not really how enjoyable it is. It might be good though. I'm not saying the high-end stuff are not good, but the value, the value is in the feeling of it. The moment that you have it, the moment that you keep it in your humidor, that's the value in the high end. The budget cigars, they have to prove themselves. The they have to prove themselves, right? The, uh, for example, uh, David of Oro, $500. Nobody know how good that is. Nobody know how good that is. There's no review for it. No one knows how good that is. But has that value when you bought it. Just having it is five hundred dollar worth. Once you smoke it down, it has no value. So, all right, Michael. Talk to you later. Have a good night. 
This is the same mic that I always use, but usually it's off the camera, so it's hard to see how big it is. But I had to take it off because that I'm gonna echo it is when I hang it upside down. The Hemingway you're smoking is nine and a quarter inches long. That's gonna last two hours. <laughs> What can I say, Bob? I have the best stickers and the best cigar rest. Oh, no, the other way. Best stickers and best cigar rest in the world. What can I say? What can I say? All right, taste nothing but paper box. I feel kind of badass right now because I'm smoking two cigars at the same time. It has this vanilla taste, a little bit of creaminess to it too. Uh, the pepper kind of bothers me a little bit on the nose, but and the Thai draw kind of bothers me a little bit, but the flavor is there. There is more flavor than the jungle strike. Once I get that stainless crossover, it's going to be on this new table. This is actually not a new table. I used to cook on this table. This used to be my prep table for cooking. So you can see uh, it's wood. Uh, it's all wood. And in, under there is actually all drawers. Uh, this used to be my island for cooking. Definitely more complex flavor than the Jungle Stripe. I almost feel like there's no need for, for them to release the Jungle Stripe having the Liga Zebra because I think the base profile is pretty much the same. But the size difference and how complex the flavor is. This really does taste like Cabo Box here and there. And just kind of have that strong any taste to kind of cover out the rest. This one, you can taste a few different notes in there every puff. And it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. The creamy, like vanilla sweetness to it. So yeah, like I had mentioned, if you haven't bought your ticket, Saturday by noon is your last chance, okay? The ticket ends up in here. I already bring it down here because I think we're reaching the end of this. So it's got to be drawn here in this box. No, I don't think that is probably like a dollar difference. Yeah, smoking both at the exact time to give it a fair chance on both. That's what Battle Wednesday is about. So if you want to, you guys want to see a different Battle Wednesday, you no, know, just give me ideas and I'll compare them. Something that's polar opposite, something is completely different price range, something that's similar, we all compare them every Wednesday. Mm. This chair is extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Two in the mouth at the same time, oh. Some fresh air first. When I smoke both of them, I taste paper box. Why? I think it's because this has a better, easier draw. This is loose draw, this tight draw. So I get more out of this than this, but I can taste that paper box. <laughs> Not a good idea. Don't try that at home. It gets me dizzy. How do we purchase a ticket? You can purchase a ticket by using Vimo or PayPal. It's $5 a ticket. You just have to let me know which one you, you want to do. You want to do the ashtray or you want to do the cigar. I highly recommend 
Beginners not to do that. That's a lot of smoke going in your mouth. Beginners, don't do that. If you watch this for the very first time and just start smoking, do not do that. All right. A lot of stuff I do here is for science. They're not meant to be done. See, Bob, I talked I talk about this before. I talked about this before. The material inside is relatively the same. The distance between the materials is what changes the flavor. Okay? When you take a hamburger, you flip it upside down and eat it, does it change the, does it change the flavor? It doesn't. So a cigar is the same way. You flip it, the material is still the same, the distance is still the same. So the flavor comes up actually the same. Yeah, you might taste the last third first versus the first third first, but the flavor should be the same. You're not changing the material that's in there. The material is the same. Burn is the same. So, even if you swap the sides, it's gonna taste the same. And the same thing with the with the the thing with flavor cigars. The flavor is infused in the entire cigar. So it doesn't matter front or back. It's gonna taste the same. You know, just like a pickle. You put in you know, the entire pickle is pickle you turn it around eat it it's still gonna taste like pickle mm. cat I told you a gamer seat would not be tall enough had I said in the uh, in, in, a, in a gamer seat I'll be so I'll be this low on, on, the, on the bottom I measured the height so this is actually a cooking table so when I'm cooking on it I'm actually just a little bit taller than this the floor is actually uh, more than three feet of chair that I need so unless your taste buds are different on the, on either side no taste buds are normally the same now when they say certain part of the tongue can taste uh, a taste more more than the other that's false too scientifically proven your tongue can taste all over The sensors are actually placed in layers. So I don't know who came up with the idea that the tip of your tongue is going to taste sugar more. No, it's, that's not true. That's not true. Your entire mouth can taste it. <laughs> I, I, I made a face earlier is because I taste Dr. Pepper just now, but for a split second. This just reminds me of Dr. Pepper. And I haven't drink Dr. Pepper for a long time. I don't know if I'm craving it or what. I just happen to taste it. Like a soda. Now it's gone. So, just like a split moment. So yeah, for science. Everything for science, right? Just give it a try one time and never do it again. Uh, usually, yeah, that's how I approach life. Try one time, never do it again. Oh. My butt won't hurt like right now, but you won't. You also won't be able to see me either. So, I just don't have a chair for this place yet. Tomorrow I have a chair. Tomorrow I have a chair. Still paper box. Ooh. The good news is this is the only jungle stripe I have. Only jungle stripe that I have. I never, I actually never smoked a jungle stripe before. Uh, so this is the only jungle stripe I have. I guess there is a reason why they don't sell that way. Are you going to have a green screen in the studio? No. I actually don't like green screens. Uh, cause I don't think it is authentic. I, I just don't like fake stuff. So you won't see me using green screen. In fact, what, let's say if I was using green screen, right? And then I'm smoking a candela. That cigar is going to disappear. <laughs> that cigar is going to disappear on my hand. So it wouldn't work. I, I don't plan to. So it is what it is. 
now that I have this back wall, uh, this big sign will eventually go down. I want to hang stuff. So when we have signs and stuff like that, I can hang here in the back. I will start hanging them. As, uh, as this room gets completed, the camera will be moving back or for, further and further for me. That way you can see more of the back. And then, you know, because then I, you'll be able to see me getting up, walking to the side where I store my cigars, and I'll be able to pick up cigars. With my technology. Yeah, see, that's the thing. The, the green screen is not smart enough to do that nowadays. Uh, unless you do a tech filtering and then literally uh, digitally enhance the cigar to be appearing, it won't appear. So it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I know, the cigar rest is so nice. Cigar rest is so nice. You could have had a jungle background and a zebra and, and a tundra. No, but because that, that in that case, you'll see me chasing that zebra for dinner. <laughs> Did you not see the water? See this water? It's actually green water, so you can't see it. But this water here. Martin, what happened to Marcella? Shouldn't he be here too? <laughs> I'm trying to pop this more because this is such a burning wheel. But it's got this really nice sweet aftertaste too. I'm gonna rescue it a little bit. Masala, I'm sorry, pronounced it wrong. I just think it's Masala. Masala. Playing video games. Ah. I'll be playing video in this room too. Hopefully. I need a bigger TV though. I need a bigger TV. See, the, the, the good part is that AK TV is coming out soon. So I'll buy AK TV, move the 4K TV to my bedroom, and then move my bedroom TV down here. Then it will be bigger enough for me to read those tiny little words that's in front of me. I get a little bit of uh, almond too. I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit almond out of this too. Oh, look who's here. Chief! Very nice. This thing needs a rescue again. Let's just tap off some of these ashes. Now this is halfway through, so hopefully this changes. Must be alert. Alright, have a good night, Matt. Yeah. Lots of people here today. Lots of people here today. Surprising. Alright, still a little bit more cedar came out. Anis is kind of uh, mellow out a little bit. It still got this like a cardboard box uh, end note to it. And tobacco. I, like I say, it's always a bad sign when you can taste tobacco. Tobacco itself is not pleasant flavor, but it's there. So you'll see a lot of reviewers when they can't taste anything, they say, I can taste tobacco. It's really just that tobacco. Uh, I don't know if that means that the, the 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 tobacco itself is just blend, or they just choose it tobacco tobacco. No, it just tastes like tobacco. 
I don't think that's a good idea, but it does sometimes. Still tight draw though. I think this downfall of this cigar today is this is a tight draw. I had to continue mu like massage it, massage, massage. Massage. Uh, like I mentioned the other day, DR is dangerous. Today my wife just told me that she read another news. Someone from Massachusetts went to DR and got really sick and died or something like that. DR, what happened to DR, you know? Oh, I'm gonna give it to the last third to tell you whether or not it's the winner. But so far, Zebra had the heads up, right? Zebra is up there. My fla my favorite would be the espresso uh, flavor. The coffee, dark coffee espresso flavor is my go-to kind of flavor. That is this one of the things I look for. Like, especially uh, the Davidoff Macau edition. That thing's got so much coffee flavor in there, and it's natural. It's just amazing how it tastes like. It's one of my favorite. I only have two left, and they don't make that anymore, so I don't smoke that anymore. <laughs> When they will release it again, you, you can bet that I'm gonna buy three, four boxes and leave it in the house. But it is a it is a thirty dollar cigar, thirty nine dollar cigar. So today is kind of a happy day for me. You know why? Why would it make a very happy day for me today? The Laurentin I bought today smells like a handful of cocoa puffs. Excited to try it. So it's got a lot of cocoa, uh, cocoa taste, like chocolate. Well, I don't humidor. I don't have enough humidors. So you see me I have like coolers and stuff like down here. I want to build an acrylic uh, uh, humidor here, so I had to buy acrylic panels to fill in here. But that hasn't been done yet. So who knows? You tried to kill me. <laughs> you tried to kill me. Technically, to be fair, I had to do it this way now because Bob and you are here like this, but then nobody can see anything. So, you know, Bob, I think Bob will understand today. We'll, we'll, we'll feature Chef a little bit, uh, Chief a little bit, Chief. <laughs> but like Bob mentioned, Chief should have his own channel. And that might happen anytime. Chief, like I tell you, you should have your own channel. Now you're testing all your technology and stuff like that. Shouldn't you have your own channel? I think you should. Well, but you can start your kind of channel on our uh, Shadow Smokes Legion live, you know, we, t we tend to watch it. Everybody's live are usually well received, so, you know, don't be afraid, don't be shy to do it on, on Shadow Smokes Legion. For all three? What do you mean by three? You'll have at least four, because I will subscribe it too. Everybody loves Chief. Everybody loves Bob. Everybody loves everybody in Shadow Smoke Legion. I don't love cat. I'm allergic to cat. My mom has cat. Rescue cat. I need SSL rest for my Thursday. 
SSL rest. You, oh, you mean the cigar rest? Yeah. Now see, it'll be easier for you because all you had to do is just ask the Bob the cigar guy for it. I think it's coming soon though, okay? I think it's coming soon. Now I haven't got a chance to talk to uh, Cigar Mechanic yet, but I'm hoping that he can help us to make cutters and lighters for SSL so that the whole entire table will be SSL stuff. Oh, I need to adjust. I'm gonna fall off. So, you know, I got now that I got a new table, I got plenty of room to display stuff now. <laughs> so, Chief needs to buy a shirt. He does. Hey, Chris. Christopher is in the house. What today? Like, it sounds like everybody's in the house today. Not bad. Not bad turnout today. But I figure majority of the people in the group has probably smoked the Liga Zebra. Yeah, unfortunately I can't help that. I don't know why uh, it's like that. So, shall we go back to the original chat? Let me adjust that a little bit, see if uh, we can fix that. Let's try that. Yeah, people don't like my shows. <laughs> yeah, majority of people probably in, in, in the chat right now probably have already tasted the Legal Zebra before. So I need to change that color too, huh? Because nobody can read that. Let me see if I can change the color. Do, 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 do. Is it this? Nope. Font color. There we go. There we go. Now it's easier to read, I hope. We'll see what happens and change it as we go. Less echo when you're talking in front of the. Yeah. But I can't move it in front of me because then I won't be able to talk. So I can only point it towards me. Uh, I was. So when you using uh, when I use the the one with the gray background, it's actually using a uh, a browser that shows the both chats. When I'm using this, this, when I use this, this is built in, so it, it's it kind of slightly different. I don't know. Should I use black? I don't think you can read black either. When I use black, how about green? Let's try green. Let's see if it's easier to read green. There's no green for me to choose. Yeah, there's no green for me to choose. Let's choose this color then. But I think it's just as bad. How close? I'm just gonna turn that back because it's easier for everybody to read. So you see, it's like it's loading a chat. So. Mike Clark, how is doing doing? Mm. So far, Liga Zebra is winning. How close is the wall in front of me? Probably ten feet. Ten feet in front of me. This room is by I think it's like eight by ten. But it's eight this way, ten this way, I think. So So now it's not really loading anything. I don't know. It's reloaded, but it's not really loading anything. Because some people. Go ahead and type. Ah, uh, yeah, see, it's not. 
it's not it's not really reloading anything it could be the website is kind of weird right now so it's not really loading anything we'll just do that oh wrong one I probably had you put a color behind it but we'll do that for now we'll do that for now tomorrow I'll fix it You know, I had this two backlighting the whole time, all my episodes. There is a TV in front of me, yes. That's how I read the chat. If there's no TV in front of me, I cannot read the chat. But the TV is too small, I need a bigger TV. Now the TV is about five feet in front of me or four. No, actually I think five feet in front of me because I can lie down straight, I probably won't touch that. So five or six feet in front of me. It stands out more because my background is not white. So it stands out more. Yeah, that's what I uh, figure I'll have to do. But I just haven't done that today. So we'll, we will have to work on that in the next one. I just had to find the best way of displaying that. Let's let's give a, a go. See, I have white and black in the background, so it's hard to get both. What will be a color that can show in black and white? I would think gray it is, but gray might not be dark enough. That's my problem. Yeah, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. I had to put a. I had to put a uh, background on it. But let's shrink this down a little bit so it can. It's easier to read, I guess. Let's shrink this down just a little bit. About that. And then we we'll use black font. Use black font. There we go. I like the sound, no issue here. Okay. The blanket can just go behind the TV. Actually, behind the TV is construction goods. <laughs> Drywall is behind the TV, so I can't put a thing on behind the TV. But yeah, I will add. I will add some more stuff. Uh, in the future or maybe even hang the microphone upside down to here so you can hear me directly But right now this is the setting just good enough, I guess Yellow 